There it is. Watch it, please. He's much stronger than he looks. Very sinewy. Okay, flex. What? Show him the guns. No. The Tamponator, Ryan Howard. So, you will never believe what happened to me last night. What? I bought a flat panel TV. 13 inches widescreen. That's much smaller. Yeah, though. it is, and more pixels. It's a beauty. Was it expensive? Oh, you know, Pam, I don't like to put a price tag on my hobbies. But it was more than you make in a week. Yeah, I mean to talk to you about that. You know what? I hung it on my wall. I mounted it on the wall of my bedroom. So I'm thinking about having a viewing party in a couple weeks. Do you have a couch in your bedroom? No, I have a futon and an air mattress. So seating aplenty. Can I have the old one? What, that relic? Sure. You can bid on it on eBay. Have to be fair to everybody. Thoughtful. Yeah. So, um, I would like you to send out an evite for the viewing party to everybody in the office, except Toby. How you doing? I'll get right on that. I have a, a great headline <laughs> for the evitation. 13 inches in my bedroom. So for those wondering, this video is actually sourced from the Season 3 DVDs. This was the preview for Season 3 that aired on NBC. So if we go back in time, this story happens first before Season 3 even begins. Now this does in fact raise some serious and interesting questions. Firstly is the timing. Sometimes I will just stand here and watch television for hours. I love it. I love this TV. The famous plasma TV scene is from Dinner Party in season four, which is arguably one of the most infamous moments in the entire series and one of the most recognizable episodes in the entire series. Now, Michael tells us that he finally broke down and bought the TV. I finally broke down and bought myself a plasma TV. Check it out. But now that we've seen the season three preview video, this doesn't entirely make sense anymore because obviously Pam already knew that he had bought the new TV. For now, we have to assume it is in fact the same TV. But not only that, Pam also sent the Evite out to the entire office for the viewing party. Towards the end of the season three preview, we definitively see a number of other office staff aware of Michael's viewing party. I'm really excited about Michael's viewing party. Are, are you going? Let me check my schedule, no. You were lucky you were even invited. Are you really excited about Michael's viewing party? There's a ton of great new shows. I'm taking the stairs. I love television. So now not only do we assume that Pam knows about the TV, but Jim also knew about the TV. So what exactly is Michael talking about? Now some of you might say, well, perhaps this is a new one. Maybe the one that he bought in the season three preview is an older TV. Maybe that one broke and maybe he replaced the TV. The only issue with that is that's not what he says at dinner party. I finally broke down and bought myself a plasma TV. Check it out. The second thing is making sense of what actually happened to him the night before and why he bought what is clearly a smaller TV. I mean, throughout the series, Michael does show that he enjoys movies and he institutes Movie Monday. I'm hungry. Movie Monday. The only cure. I know for the Monday blues is Varsity Blues. He also institutes Prima Nocta. So, I am instituting Prima Nocta. 
He seems like someone who watches a decent amount of TV, so why is he downgrading to a significantly smaller TV? Not only that, what happened to him last night? What happened last night that he says to himself, I'm gonna go out and buy a TV and I'm gonna buy a 13 inch TV? The thing completely doesn't make sense. Now for those new to this channel, we don't do plot holes here, we investigate the Scranton Strangler mystery. From our perspective, the creators are really directing us here, there's a lot of heavy direction in the way of questioning the series of events that surrounds Michael's decision. Now the other interesting thing to note is that he mounted this TV on the wall as well. You know what? I held it on the wall, I mounted it on the wall of my bedroom. So the link to the dinner party episode starts to strengthen, although we don't really have a strengthening in the logic behind this decision. Now we also need to be mindful of the fact that the place that Michael lives in in season 3 is different to the dinner party episode. For those who are familiar with the series, Michael ends up selling his condo on eBay because he believes he got the job in New York. So although we have that link now to, to another wall mounted TV, his place of residence is different in the surface timeline. So even if we assume it is the same TV, he's unmounted it from, from his first place, he's remounted it in the new place, but we still can't make sense of why he told Pam that he finally broke down and bought the plasma TV. Another worthy mention is the fact that viewing party forms a motif in this video. Now those familiar with the investigation will know that the episode titles have all been muddled up. One of our challenges in the Scranton Strangler mystery is to assign the correct title to the correct episode and I've linked that analysis here for those of you who haven't actually seen it. Now given that viewing party forms a motif, it does make me think that this is perhaps the real viewing party episode. I mean, viewing party is mentioned four times, right? So the motif is overwhelmingly strong. We do actually have another motif in this little clip and that's the motif of downsizing. He goes from a big TV down to a 13 inch TV. That's downsizing, right? And obviously downsizing is the primary motif in the first season. And that of course now raises its own set of challenges in, in trying to navigate, you know, which title goes to which episode. Now there's a lot more to mention about this clip. There's a, it's actually filled and riddled with clues and questions, right? But I'm gonna close it off with one final observation, which is why did he bring the old TV to the office? I mean, he's selling on an eBay, right? Wouldn't you just put it up on eBay and then when you sell it, have the buyer come and pick it up from your house? I mean, he's obviously bothered Ryan to come and bring it in. You know, Ryan is Michael's little bitch in the first couple of seasons, right? So he's, he's called Ryan to help him to bring the TV into the office. Why? I've checked uh, the other TVs in the series. So this is a different TV to the Movie Monday TV. That's the Office TV. I've also checked Michael's TV in the Threat Level Midnight movie, right? So it's it's definitely a different TV. What happened? Why bring it into the office? Now guys, if you have any good ideas or thoughts, please comment. I would love to hear your thoughts on this because this particular video hasn't really been shared. You, you can't really find it on YouTube from what I've noticed, which is why I've uploaded it. It, it seems to be new material for a lot of people. So it does raise a lot of questions. Maybe some of you guys have the answers. It's a beauty. Was it expensive? Oh, you know, Pam, I don't like to put a price tag on my hobbies. But it was more than you make in a week. That is a $200 plasma screen TV that you just killed! Yeah, I mean to talk to you about that. And for those new to the channel, don't forget to join our 13 Inches in the Bedroom party, which is the anti-strangling task force. We're over on Reddit as well. There's heaps of stuff on Reddit. Heaps of stuff you've definitively never seen before. So go and check that out. Hit subscribe. The next bunch of videos are going to be revealing the true theme of The Office. Because remember... I mean, I, I don't even know what the theme is. What's the theme? It's birthday. Those aren't themes. There's always a theme. There's always a theme.